Hello and welcome to the 10th tutorial in this series and today we're gonna learn how to create this sheet over the mattress and add some uh, pillows on top of that and maybe throw some clothes on here for extra realism. So let's start with the mattress and the sheet over the mattress. I'm going to reset the scene. I'm going to go to view, viewport and change this to solid so that uh, a YouTube video won't have lines you don't have to do this step alright next thing I'm going to create my mattress for the mattress I'm going to use extended primitive chamfer box the size of the mattress we already talked about in the previous tutorial so it's going to be something like 210 length width of 170 centimeters and a height of something like 18 the fillet will be uh, 2 or 1.5 no 2 is fine and I'm going to add a lot of segments so let's add 50 segments uh, length segments with segments something like 40 and I'll click G to hide the grid it needs to be something like a square so 50 and 40 is fine if I do 50 and 50 it will look like a rectangle and I don't need that, I need a square, so 40. I'm going to add some height segments, something like 4, that's fine, and fillet segments of 2. Alright, so this is our basic mattress. To this mattress I'm going to add a sheet. In order to do this, I'm going to go to the front viewport, click on select an uniform scale, and click shift and hold shift, and make this bigger on all axes it's fine I'm going to click on copy OK uh, what I do here is create a bigger chamfer box over the mattress this will be our sheet so I make it a little bit higher I'll make it smaller like so take it down a little bit make it higher and then take it down a little bit like this that's fine. I'm going to go to the left viewport and make it smaller on the X axis, like so. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is go to the front viewport, convert this to editable poly, and delete the polygons at the bottom, like so. Now, what we're left with is a mattress and a bigger mattress, a bigger chamfer box over the mattress we already created. I'm going to change the realism to shader because the shadows are uh, in the way. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is let's assign a color to this. The sheet will be red for now. The mattress will be blue. And I'm going to create, I'm going to click on border, choose the border and create shape from selected. Uh, if it stands on smooth, change this to linear because we, uh, when you click smooth, it smooths out uh, all the corners and I don't need this right now. I'm going to go with linear, OK. Now what we have is a line which uh, goes exactly where the borders we selected go. So I'm going to click on the line, wait, I'm going to click on the line and I'm going to right click, convert to editable poly. This will create a helper object for me to pull the sheet inside. So I'm going to change this color to green. Now we have green, red and blue inside so we won't make mistakes. Next thing I'm going to do is click on this chamfer box. I'm going to call this sheet. I'm going to click on the mattress inside and I'm going to call this mat mattress and I'm going to click on the helper object just create it and call this helper fine next thing I'm going to choose this sheet and add segments to it by adding turbo smooth with iteration of one right click convert to editable poly alright so now we have a sheet over the mattress and we have a helper object the helper object needs to pull the sheet inside, so I'll animate it, auto key, click on set key, 
So the first frame, this helper object looks like this, and 100th frame, I'll make it smaller on the x, y axis, like so. Not too small, but like a sheet on a real bed, something like this. And I'll take it up a little bit so it touches the mattress, like so. So now, if I go from 0 to 100, we see the helper objects becomes smaller. That's fine. Next thing, I'm going to choose the sheet. I'm going to add a cloth modifier to it. And I'm going to go to object properties, add objects. I'm going to add helper and mattress. The sheet is a cloth object. It will be simulated as a cloth. The mattress is a collision object, the cloth will collide with it. And the helper object is also a collision object because we're going to use it as a helper. So we have collision, collision and cloth. I'm going to click OK and double check this. Sheet is a cloth, mat is collision and helper is collision. Everything is fine. Next thing, I'm going to click on the plus here and choose group. That's because I want to group all these vertices down here with our helper objects. So they will follow the helper object as it shrinks. I'll make this a group. I'll call it shrink group. And I will click on surface and choose our... What's the problem here? One second. Right group, click on this group, surface, and choose this surface. So now a shrink group is surfaced to helper. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is change some properties around. I'm going to click on self collision so that the sheet won't collide with itself. And I'm going to make the steps smaller so we'll have more steps and the simulation will be more accurate 0.04 it's fine I'm going to go to this view something like this and let's simulate the cloth I'm going to click simulate now this may take some time depending on your hardware so your computer might be slower than mine or faster depending on the hardware so don't worry about that let it run its simulation and I think I'm going to pause now and continue after the simulation gets to 100 frames alright so now we're at 99% and the simulation is done let's see what we have here we have a sheet And we can delete the helper object, not the material, the helper. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to convert this to editable poly. Alright, so we have a sheet over our mattress with creases uh, for more realism. If the creases are too much, you can always uh, make them smaller by selecting a vertex. For instance, this crease here, just choose the vertices you want to relax or make smaller and go down here. No, let's make it soft selection, something like this. And go down here to paint deformation, choose relax and you can relax the vertices so they won't be so creased out. And you can do this for the whole mattress. But I actually like the creases, they add realism to the image. And I'm going to add a turbo smooth on top of it to be smoother than it is now. Once. And we have our mattress and sheet over the mattress. Okay. Now I'm going to group them together. Met. I'm going to save this as met.max 
and I'm going to open up the scene we created last tutorial. So let's choose the bed, let's import, merge the mattress we created into the scene, and I'm going to place it over the bed. So let's make this 90 degrees over the bed and front viewport let's take it up to here and take it back a little bit like so this is perfect so now we have a bed with a sheet and mattress on it and let's give this a material alright so the material we'll create will be a sheet material which is a fabric uh, as you can see in the image the fabric is white so we don't need to create a, a very a difficult material, we're going to just create a white material, let's call it mat and sheet and change this from standard to V-Ray material and change the color to almost white, something like 250 and add a map fall off map to this. So why fall off? Because I want a little variation in the color of the sheet. So let's say in one place it will be almost pure white 250 and in another it will be let's make this 255 over 180 over 80. So it's yellow and let's make this almost white so like 230 here. So this material is actually almost white and a little bit yellow. Let's assign this to the mattress and the sheet. And now you have, let's give this white lines and let's give this white lines so we can see them. Now you have a mattress and a bed. Next thing I want to do is create pillows for this like in the image. We have two pillows that are lying like this. Alright, so let's create the, the first pillows, the under pillows, the white pillows. I'm going to take the sheet group open and only select the mattress underneath. And I'm going to select the bed base also. And let's hide unselected. Let's hide everything except those two. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a box roughly the size of the pillar I want to create, something like this. Doesn't need to be perfect. I'm going to place the box here like so and make it shorter, so three. I want to rotate it a little because I want it to fall on the back of the bed also like so and I'm going to give it segments so 50 no too much 30 over 20 needs to be about a square so 15 yeah that's fine and let's add a s two segments here and make it two centimeters. All right, next thing I'm going to do is add a cloth modifier to it. I'm going to go to object. You know what, before that, I'm going to call this pillow one. I'm going to go to object properties, I'm going to add the base bed and the mattress. Base bed and mattress are going to be collision objects because the pillow is going to collide with them. And the pillow itself is going to be cloth. So we have mat, collision objects, base, collision object, and pillow, cloth. Now I'm going to add pressure to it. What pressure does is adds pressure like in a car tire. So when the pillow will fall down, it also will blow up. It will be blow up with the air inside. So the pillow will be created. Let's make the pressure maybe five let's start with five and see where we go from there and I'm going to click OK and double check base is collision mattress is collision pillow 
is cloth with 5 pressure. Alright, next thing I'm going to check is open 004 is fine, gravity is good, self collision checked. Alright, let's try simulating it. This time I'm not going to simulate uh, uh, here, I'm going to simulate here, simulate local. So the time will not move, I can stop it whenever I want. Simulate local. Now the pillow falls and there is not enough pressure. So I'm going to click reset status, go to object properties and make the pressure higher, something like 20. Let's simulate local. see the pillow here a little bit less I'm also going to move it so it falls on the bed back too like so all right and let's try simulating now oh, the problem is it starts from the point when I added the cloth so let's make the cloth again modify I'm going to click here, delete the cloth. Every object that was in the simulation will have a cloth modifier on it. So delete the cloth modifier from every object. So you have only the UV map if you want and the editable poly. All right, let's add the cloth modifier again. I'm going to add objects, one, two. Same thing we just did, pillow is cloth pressure is that was too much so let's make it 15 mattress is collision and base material collision 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 cloth double check cloth collision collision right and let's see everything is fine simulate local Still too much pressure. Let's reset this and make the pressure 10. Just a little bit, we're almost there. A little bit less. Let's make the pressure 7 and simulate local let it work for a bit this is fine all right nice so we have one pillow here I'm going to move it to the left I'm to going to shift drag this to create another pillow copy I'm going to delete the cloth from everything and create another simulation for this pillow and the uh, reason I'm doing this and not just copying this pillow is because every simulation is a little bit different from the last simulation. So the pillow will look a little bit different, more realistic. And let's make it a little bit smaller. Like so I'll play with the sizes later, but this is fine. And let's add cloth, add base and mattress. Pillow 1 we don't need in the simulation, so Pillow 2 is cloth, mattress is collision, base is collision. Pillow 2 needs to have a pressure of say 7.2, just a little bit more for variation. Okay, double check, base material collision, mattress collision, pillow 7.2, cloth. Now let's simulate local. Fine. Alright, so now we have two pillows, let's add this line here, so let's take those two pillows, convert to editable poly, I'm going to delete the cloth simulator from both the bed, base and the cloth and the mattress and I'm going to choose this line here in the center, loop it and extrude a little bit something like 1 or maybe 0.5 and 0.2 in the height 0.2 just a little bit outwards so we have a line 
when we add a turbo smooth to it. Alright, so now we have a line here. If I add a turbo smooth modifier here, with one, two, fine. So now we have a pillow with a line, just like in our picture. Next thing I'm going to do is the same thing here loop, extrude. 0 0.2, 0.25, 0.15, maybe a little bit less, 0.1. Turbo smooth, iteration of 2, like so. And we have our pillows. The pillows are white, so I'm going to give them the same material as the sheet. And I'm going to unhide everything and go to the camera. Now we have a bed. Close the group of the sheet. Now we have a bed with two pillows and a little bit more creases than in the picture because I like the realism it adds. And we will add those two pillows and this uh, clothing object for more realism in the next tutorial.